It's about that time of day again. My name is Joseph. It's Thursday evening, August 10th. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter. We're covering crude oil, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and euro this evening. Crude is bearish, but sitting on two major support levels, telling us to look for traps and failures up above prior swings for the most reliable selling opportunities on Friday. S&P is bearish and trying to complete a measured move, but we're seeing this market two legs down from earlier this morning. So we're waiting for a two-legged correction to sell more tomorrow. The NASDAQ is bearish, but trading at two major support levels, we're looking for more reliable selling opportunities up in the battle zone on Friday. Gold is bullish and trying to retest today's high, and we're watching closely to see one of three scenarios developing for Friday. And of course, the euro is bullish in a recent overshoot of a channel high tells us to look for a deep pullback off the highs before retesting the round number tomorrow. Boy, we got a great newsletter in store for you guys and gals. we get got a summertime Friday coming right around the corner. We'll take a look at the charts. We'll put the plan together for Friday. Before we jump in, though, I do want to remind you, the only place to watch the full-length version of this video is on our blog at SidewaysMarkets.com. If you're watching the video right now on our YouTube channel, not to worry. There's a link in the description of that YouTube video. Follow that link. Come join me here on the blog at Sideways Markets and watch the full-length version. While you're here, don't forget to join the mailing list. I'll send you an email every evening when the nightly newsletter goes live. Follow me on my many different social media channels, lower left-hand corner, Stock Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever your favorite flavor of choice. Follow me throughout the week for links, charts, and updates. And, of course, don't forget to grab those charts. I'm always amazed how much feedback I get every week about how much you guys appreciate these charts. Thank you so much for the feedback. I always appreciate the feedback. But don't forget, you can always download those charts. All the charts from tonight's video, have them ready on your computer tomorrow. Follow that link below the video. And if you do one thing else besides watch the video tonight, please make sure you grab that free pass. What are you waiting for? Come learn all about our strategies here at School of Trade. Grab that free pass. You're going to learn more with me in 90 minutes on that free pass than you will anywhere else on the interwebs. I can pretty much guarantee you that. And if you have any questions along the way, I'm always here to help. Hit me up on live support on the right-hand side of our blog. We'll also have live support on the right-hand side of the homepage at schooloftrade.com. All right, let's break this sucker open here tonight. we get got a big, big day tomorrow, a summer Friday, Friday, August the 11th. A couple things we always talk about when it comes to Fridays. Fridays are days where traders typically take bigger risks and we typically see lower volume. Now, when you combine the psychology of the end of the week with the lower volume we see on typically on Fridays, specifically towards the end of the day on Friday, you really get a cocktail for disaster if you're not paying attention. So I always tell my clients, be very careful as the morning gets later, 10.30, 10.45, 11 o'clock Eastern time on Friday morning. At the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, traders take bigger risks risks and you combine that along with lower volume and you get an uptick in volatility and a downtick in liquidity. So be careful tomorrow, especially after 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, tomorrow's also a summer Friday. Between the 4th of July weekend and the Labor Day weekend, right, two-month period there, we have the summertime season, right? Weather warms up, people aren't at their desks as much, and the volume, of course, is going to show that. So tomorrow, keep an eye on the time and keep an eye on the market's personality. Personality means you've got to invest some time to learn how these markets work. Every market has a different personality to it, and an experienced trader can look at the chart and see how the personality changes changes as we get later in the session tomorrow. So the moral of the story is summertime Friday, Fridays are always going to be early in, early out, but summertime Fridays really watch that market personality. I would say after 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, really start paying close attention right to those market personality clues. We'll be doing that tomorrow in our trade room with all of our advanced members. And of course, I invite you to come out and do it right along with me. Only news we have tomorrow only news we have tomorrow is going to be that consumer price index at 8.30 a.m., and that really throws a little bit more concern in here. We don't have a lot of news tomorrow. There's not going to be a lot of uh, stimulus, let's say, right, to get more volume in the market. So early in, early out, watch those personality clues. Oh, oh, one more thing for a Friday. I almost forgot about this. One of the most important things for a Friday is that at the end of the week, we start watching last week's levels. 
at the end of the month, we start watching last month's levels, right? Open high, low, close levels, with the most important being the high and low. So as we go into tomorrow's session, tomorrow being the end of the week, we're looking at the end of last week's levels, right? They start acting as price magnets. So we're going to take a look at those in a moment. We're going to couple of those in the chart here tonight, but definitely watch out for that tomorrow. Use those prior week open high, low, close levels as magnets. They make for great runner targets, and they also make for great entries, right, as well. So we'll take a look at that in a moment as well. So early in, early out, news tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. That's pretty much all we're working with here tomorrow. And again, watch those market personality clues, right, because we'll probably be seeing a relatively short session tomorrow. Let's jump right in. we got crude oil, S&P, NASDAQ, gold, and we'll wrap up tonight on the euro. Crude is bearish with a channel, a triple down, a prior week low, and a battle zone on the chart for tomorrow. The Bear Channel tells us to look for selling opportunities using traps and buyer failures up above the moving average and around prior swings. This triple down and prior week low are both major support levels, telling us to avoid selling here and wait for a higher price to sell tomorrow. While that battle zone makes for an easy location for sellers to look for the most reliable trading opportunities on Friday. As you can see as we dig into this chart here tonight, boy, those bears really, really put a beating down on the bulls here today. Very, very strong move down and a, a relatively well-behaved channel. You'll notice the rotation looks pretty good throughout the entire time. Now, what does a channel tell us? A channel basically tells us that the best trades are going to come after a correction and the target is to retest that low. So that's what we're looking for here tomorrow, whether or not the price keeps going lower and then corrects back over, or we see the correction in the short term, right? So it's tough to tell exactly when that will happen, but anytime I see a real well-behaved channel like this, that price action is just begging to break out, profit taking from the sellers, buyer failure, and then back down to retest that low. The next thing is we have two levels of support, the triple down and the prior week low. Now, of course, that triple down came after we saw that collapse off the high. And of course, it's not a huge surprise to see us sitting at the prior week low after watching the bottom completely fall out of this thing, right, for crude oil sellers. So prior week low, we just talked about that, right? Tomorrow's Friday. So this prior week low, we definitely would love to use this, go up, and sell it back down, use it as a target, or possibly here tomorrow, we may see a run towards the quadruple down objective, and we may end up getting sucked back up into that prior week low. Again, as the as the the, the, the week comes to an end, we start seeing that prior, prior week low start acting as a price magnet. So that's what the prior week low tells us. The battle zone, the battle zone is a couple swings back. This makes for a great area of interest here now to sell high. So what's the plan here for tomorrow? There's really three scenarios, uh, maybe four scenarios we want to keep in mind for tomorrow. Let's go up, let's go down, let's go sideways. Now, obviously, as we go higher here, we'd love to see up, failure, up, failure, and back down, failure, and back down. There'll be a few different selling opportunities there for the bears back down. We may also see a little bit more of a punch Right, a little more of a punch here. We may see a trend line form. We call that a two-legged correction, right? Two-legged correction off the low. Again, trying to sell up inside that battle zone. Really what I'm looking for is, is to get up around those prior swings. 93, 03, 36. I'd love to incorporate the double down resistance as well. So get it up so we can sell it back down tomorrow. Now, we may also see this market really settle in here around that prior week low. So we may not get a very big pop higher. We may start seeing this market trade sideways, right? No big pop higher, no real move lower. But again, around that prior week low and tomorrow's a summertime Friday. If that happens and we start seeing double tops, double bottoms, there's a bare bias to it. And our goal at that point will be the two try rule. One try, two try. Once we see that second attempt fail, now we start looking for that sell 
back down in. If you follow my newsletter every evening, you know that anytime we have a market go range bound, we know we're looking to focus on failures and use those two tries to sell high and buy low. The bias is clearly bearish, so we'll definitely prefer selling above the high of that range tomorrow. Now, the hard part here is going to be if price tries to go lower. As price tries to go lower, don't forget, we're still waiting for that nice big correction so we can sell it back down again. The hard part, though, is going to be if it tries to keep pushing through this quadruple down. So a couple scenarios to think about. If it does push lower, we'll still look for that up and back down again. If it does push lower and runs into that quadruple down, think about the same way we're here, right? Down, up, and back through, or down, trading range, right? Trading range up to try and back down, right? So keep an eye on that quadruple down. As the price goes lower, we still want to get the market up off this low to sell it back down again. Now, of course, hey, you know what? What happens if tomorrow becomes a bull market? How do we turn bullish tomorrow? Three rules we need to turn a trend around. One, strength. Two, pullback, preferably to the moving average. Three, strength. Strength, pullback, strength. Strength, pullback, strength. That's what we need in any market to reverse the trend. It's not enough to just get a strong move up because all that does is get the sellers all excited about selling high, right? Buyer failure back down again, right? So be careful trying to call reversals. Strength, pullback, strength. Once we see that strength follow through, now we know those buyers are looking for their own bull channel. We'll find that bull channel to buy the low of the bull channel. And, of course, we're looking to go back up and retest that high 50 and 50, 22 for tomorrow. So sell it high. Resist the temptation to call reversals. Watch that quadruple down, down on that 47, 78 area. And don't forget, we open up our trade room tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Eastern time. What are you waiting for? Come out and join me, and we'll do it together. How about some S&P? The S&P is bearish with a spike in channel, a resistance trend line, a measured move, and a battle zone to work with on Friday. The Bears just broke free of their spike in channel after 10 a.m. Eastern time this morning. And if you look closely, they already have two legs down, which is usually where we start seeing profit taking from the sellers. The measured move acts as a target, but as you can see, we haven't made it there yet. Most importantly, it gives us an opportunity for a two-legged correction, hopefully up to that resistance trend line for another selling opportunity back down again tomorrow. Looking at the S&P right now, I think the most important thing on this chart is how the day began. There was no messing around this morning for the bears. You pretty much knew this was a bear market right out the gate today. You'll notice, though, around 10 a.m. Eastern time, we break free of that spike and channel down. Now, whenever we break free of that spike and channel down, we always expect to see two legs, one and two. Usually after two legs, everybody's fat and happy and we start seeing profit taking. So we're two legs down, right? quote, quote, unquote, two legs down right now. And we're sitting right at a support trend line. Now take that support trend line, copy it and paste it overhead. And now you have kind of a hidden bear channel, right? So that would be a beautiful spot to use, right, as resistance to go up and sell back down tomorrow. Now, we also can see here, if you line these highs up, shave off that wick, that creates a falling resistance trend line. So that too is a great opportunity here to sell high tomorrow as well. And of course, we have a naked or untested reversal line at 42 and three quarters. Combine that with that prior swing and that will create our battle zone, which again, we wanna sell high back down. Now, one thing to keep in mind, we have that measured move down at the 24, 31 even. That measured move, anytime we reach a measured move, we always expect to see profit taking. When we see that profit taking, we're looking for a two-legged correction up to a level of resistance and then back down again. So hopefully you can see no matter what happens here in the short term, everything still points to stay patient, wait for that correction, 
and bring her right back down again. The one thing we have to worry about here tomorrow is if we see this market continue to slide. I have the prior month open, the prior month low. You know, we definitely saw a pretty perky market to the downside today. Today it felt like these bulls were taking significant profit. We could, we don't know enough about this yet, but we could see this start, start to go off into liquidation mode on a summertime Friday. So the hard part is going to be if we do end up sinking through this low then we got to be careful if the market brings up we don't want to sell into that into that measured move if it sinks through the low we'll probably end up seeing some sort of spike in channel down here i hope you guys learned a ton this week don't forget to share this video newsletter with a friend i'm sure you guys know a bunch of traders out there would want to learn more so don't be bashful share this information with the friends don't forget if you want to learn more about our three levels of membership and everything that we trade here at school of trade join our free trial i think we get the best free trial in the business i'll let you be the judge join that free trial on the home page of school trade.com there's a link in the description of the youtube video that'll take you right to our free trial where you can register as a new trial member and come out and join me in the trade room as a guest while you're here don't forget check out our beginner intermediate and advanced levels of membership we have a great place for everyone to begin or end your career right beginner intermediate and advanced traders all have a home here at school of trade and i'm always here to answer all your questions questions 24 7 365 hit me up on live support if you have any questions every step of the way guys i hope you had a great week here so far don't forget friday's early in early out watch the plan for tomorrow come join me in the trade room at eight o'clock eastern time and don't forget i don't have a newsletter on friday nights i wish you guys a fantastic summertime friday if we don't see you tomorrow morning in the trade room a great great weekend be be careful come back with all your fingers and toes be well out there be nice to each other and be here next time adios amigos bye for now